But then next to configurations. OK, what is the next to configuration? Mom, can you give slash and mom? I think so. Variant uh, is not saved. Give slash and once again, come back to the OBP M4 transaction code. Once again, come back to the OBP M4 transaction code. Uh, if the if variant is set, there is no issue. If the variant is not set, then we should do it. OK, this variant is not set. OK, go to the uh, set variant and go to the drop down option. Mom. Go to the drop down option. Hmm. So now we have created the variant for this particular thing and go to the save button and save it. Go to the save button and save it. Everything is perfect. Give slash and mem and once again check it. OBP M4. Go to the transaction code OBP M4. OBP M4. Hmm. Double click on this thing. OK, this variant is set. Right. Give slash in. And what is the next configuration? Give slash in. The next configuration here is we need to create the DME tree. OK, using transaction code DME. -E. OK, go to that thing now. DME. -E. Transaction code is very, very important. DME. -E. OK, so can you take out that? A tree type, mom. Tree type is go to the drop down option and we should take out the stranded tree tree type. Come down, come down. Go up. Go up. Uh, take out the PAYM. There is data medium exchange for payment medium programs and take out the format tree, mom. So you have created the format tree, right? Go to the drop down option and try to find out. Format tree is not there. OK, you do one thing. Remove this thing. Give slash Z D M E underscore. Slash Z D M E underscore. D U R one. So it is not there. OK, we should create it. Go to the create option. No, no, no. Go to the create option. This is not there, right? Hmm. This is a flat file. In payment medium workbench format things, we have taken the flat file, right? So <coughs> that is why we should take it. OK. And can you take out the description, mom? Description is payment medium. Uh, uh, Workbench. Short description is payment medium workbench. Payment medium workbench. Short description is. And this is a documentation. Documentation is very, very important, all of you. OK, so can you give this thing, ma'am? ZDME underscore. ZDME underscore. Uh, D U R one underscore same thing underscore D M E E data medium exchange. D M E. OK, so file information is very, very important. Can you go to the file information? Mom? Go to the file information. Go to the file information and we should take out the file information. OK, allow it, ma'am. Hello, it. And see, flat file is nothing but the notepad files will be opened and documents, uh, uh, execution files will be opened. OK, so these things are mandatory, first of all. OK, so can you come down, mom? There will be a dependencies. And in the dependencies, what we need to do is uh, from the if you use this format, activate the implementations of the technical names of implementations and all till a file modification, remove that thing. Now. Till file modification, remove that thing. OK, so can you go to the syntax issue? Mom? Go up. There is a syntax issue. Go up in the SAP. Uh, there is a syntax issue. Go up. 
mm, check check option we can call it as no 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 remove this thing just check this thing check the document Hello, hello, it. Mm, come down dependencies. Okay, everything is fine, right? Go to the uh, check option. Check, uh, check option. Just check it. No end format a tag for the character DDS. Appropriate is there. Okay. Line 0006. Remove this thing, Mommy. I think so. We have removed the thing, right? That's good. Now, what we need to do is. Oh, nice. Hello, it. Hello, it, and we should activate this thing. Okay. Okay. Go to the activate button, ma'am. Go to the activate button. Yes. And in the activate button, documentation contains cases. Do you want to correct them? Edit. Go to the edit option. Mm. Double click on this thing, ma'am. No end format uh, tag for this thing. Yes. Hello, it. Can you give some space, ma'am? Uh, come down in the dependencies. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, click on the enter. Yes, give the space. And now go to the activate option. Now go to the activate option. Ignore it. Ignore it. Yes. Now what we need to do is can you go to the local object? Can you go to the local object? Hmm. OK, see document was saved in active status. OK, why? Because uh, see, um, I think so zero zero line six. See that will we will going to have some uh, spaces. OK, when we are having some spaces in all what will happen definitely. OK, uh, it will throw you an error. So that is why I'm just giving you the space and ignore the things and save it. So definitely it will be in an active state. Now it is in an active status, right? So that is the very, very important point right now we have. Okay, one step back, ma'am. Go, go up, one step back. Okay, so a format has been uh, recreated. Okay, with the help of C. Why I am removing the uh, the dependencies things and all? Why? Because we will going to create our own segment groups and we will going to create our own nodes. Uh, we will going to create our own elements. Okay, so that is why if the system is giving you the standard things and all, and what's the exact use for your configurations? There is there is no use, right? So that is the very very important right now. We have okay. Then next step. Then next, go to the format attributes, ma'am. Everything is fine, right? And go to the format attribute. 
in the format attribute. Okay, in the format attribute, you can just give them field type is one, field type is one, and in segment groups, see, uh, in the segments groups, uh, whatever the elements that you are creating, like date and the company code and bank references and payment uh, IDs and payment methods and uh, uh, bank reference, uh, sorry, bank accounts and vendor names, anything that you are creating. And uh, you should have values after the each and every element. And what is the value? In segments groups only, we will segregate all these things with the help of delimiters. Okay, can you give any delimiter, ma'am? Uh, in your keypad under the escape, you do have a one delimiter or else hyphen is the delimiter. Anything slash is the delimiter. That is your choice. OK, in segment group, you can just give the delimiters. Just give the uh, delimiters in segments. Also give the delimiter in composites. Also, you can just give the delimiters and all. OK, everything is good. See why I'm using the delimiter for the in segments groups uh, in composites uh, and all. Why? Because Whenever you are generating the flat files or XML files, Excel files and all, see for each and every element, between each and every element, you should have one delimiter. Okay. So if the delimiter is not there, see, banks will not going to understand what is the exact format that is. So based on which delimiter they have segregated these values. Okay. Right. So go to the levels, ma'am. Go to the levels. Go to the levels. Ah, can you come down, ma'am? In that thing, you can just give one. And repetition factor is two. The next two. See, from the zero levels only I'm taking. So zero is nothing but the blank value. Okay. So in the second level, you can just give uh, double line, double line, double line. Okay. Everything is good. Click on the enter. Go to the sort or key fields. Go to the sort or key fields. In the structure, okay, you can just give mum FPAYH. FPAYH. And the next structure is FPAYH. FPAYH. See, I'm just uh, taking the two fields, all of you. And after that, for each and every segment group elements, uh, things for segment groups only, we will going to take out the sort fields and all, and we will going to assign the levels. OK, for this thing, I'm just taking the structure. OK, whatever the structure that we have, so we will going to take it. OK. So take out the FPA by H and FPA by H and first sort field is L A U F D. And this is for the level one L A U F D. And the next sort field is L F D N R. OK, I will going to show you all of you. So in the source fields for applications, there will be a table, technical names and there will be information. OK, so for that thing only we will going to generate the things. OK, based on the sort sort field structures we have created based on the which key fields. We are assigning these things based on the sequence only. OK, so tick mark on the key field one, two and sequences. Click on the enter, ma'am. Click on the enter. OK, sequence will come into the picture. OK, that is one, two. OK, so go to the check option, ma'am. That we can call it as a syntax issue. OK, so or syntax checks and all. So what is the error that is throwing this? Uh, Format tree ZDME underscore DUR1 doesn't contain any notes. What are those notes? Go to this Excel, ma'am. <coughs> Go to this Excel. Uh, see, these are the notes. Okay, what are those notes? Trial and level note, payment uh, uh, details, levels notes, and uh, header level details notes, and all. So these are the levels. Sorry, these are the notes. Under these notes, you will going to have elements. OK, all of you. Oh. Go back to the system, ma'am. Go, go back to the system. Continue. 
continue okay go to the activate button ma'am just activate all these things go to the activate button just activate all these things continue so whatever the structure feels formatory inconsistency tree saved in maintenance version can you open this thing ma'am formatory centum de tree saved in maintenance version can you continue this thing ma'am can you continue it go to the administrative data ma'am l a u f t l f d n r everything is for find out right l a u f t l f d n r click on the enter click on the enter go to the save button and save it hmm. format is saved okay can you just activate these things inconsistency go go to that uh, thing ma'am hmm. this will lots okay right see this format tree doesn't contain any notes so that is why it is just throwing an error okay good Okay, you do one thing, ma'am. Uh, go to the D M E E three properties. Remove this, this thing. See, without activating all these things, how the remove this thing, ma'am. Remove this thing. Okay, you do one thing, ma'am. D M E E E three properties. D M E E three properties. Right click on the D M E E three properties. Left side. Ah. Yes. So create segment level group. Okay. So remove this thing, and we need to create the segment. So. Segment group for the uh, thing is name is a segment underscore group underscore bank. The next one is a short description is short description is segment underscore group for D M E three. Short description is segment group for D M E three. Segment group for DME three. Segment group for DME three. Okay, level is one, and go to the comment. Comment tab. Go to the comment tab, and just comment it. So this is segment level group for the. <coughs> this is segment level group for DME three. Go to the comment tab. And uh, try to give the D M E three. Okay, so segment group level for the D M E three is created. Okay, now go to the check option, ma'am. Go to the check option. Go to the check option. Ah. Uh, this contains no errors remove this thing and go to the activate option go to the activate option yes so this format tree is activated all of you why because we don't have any uh, sub level group nodes right so for that nodes we need to have sub group okay so sub group is let not is nothing but the bank okay go to the change option ma'am once again go to the change option 
Mm. So this is the thing that we have created. Okay. So, uh, ma'am, right click on the segment group bank. Mm. Create segment and then that as sub node level. As sub node level. Mm. So in that name, what we need to give. In that name, what we need to give. Uh, so can you give the header level, ma'am? Header level. Mm, short description also header levels. Mm, good. Header level one. Level is one. Header level is one. Uh, I mean, level is one. Go to the comment tab, ma'am. Comment tab and just give the header levels. Give the comment is header level for a data medium exchange. Header level for data medium exchange. Okay, good. Node information, go to the node information, click on the enter. So, see all of you. Header level is created. Right click on the header level, ma'am. Create segment and same level. Create segment and same level. So here in the name is in the name is uh, payment details. In the name is see we are creating the notes. Okay, so payment details and short description is payment details and the level is one and the comment in the comment tab you can just have the description. You can just have the description payment details for data medium exchange. Payment details for data medium exchange. Good. Node information. So payment details is also created. Okay. So then what we need to do is we 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 just create the elements. Okay. We just need to create the elements for the particular nodes. Okay. Go to that uh, uh, Excel sheet, ma'am. You will going to have header levels. Under this header levels, you will going to have elements. Okay, go up. See, date is there, company code is there, bank reference is there. Okay, so go to that uh, SAP system, ma'am. Go to that SAP system. Uh, right click on the header level, ma'am. Create element. Yes. date so and the length will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay can you give the 10 ma'am no issue So the next one is <clears throat> mapping processor is a, I mean, DME mapping processor is a structure field. Okay. So length is 10 and the mapping processor is structure field. Okay. And then next to go to the source field, ma'am. Go to the source field. So in the source tab, we do have the structures. We do have the field names. Okay. So structure is a FPAYH. F P A Y H. Okay, these are the technical names, all of you. You don't worry. Okay, I will just give you the all information regarding with the data medium exchange. And the field is L A U F D. L A U F D. L A U F D. Okay, no need to have any key fields anymore. Okay, so can you go to the comment tab now? Uh, Date for DME data medium exchange. Date for data medium exchange. So, so this one is also created. And the next one is 
Next one is right click on the date, ma'am. Create element. Create element. Okay, remove the name and just give the uh, company code. Company code and what is your company code length? That is four, right? Give the short description as company code and the length is four. The length is four and the mapping procedure is a structure field. OK, and the mapping procedure is structure field and go to the source tab mem. in that uh, uh, structure. You can just give the FPA YH FPA YH and what is the field name for our company code? That is uh, Z Booker Z. Z B U K R. Z B U K R and go to the comment tab. And just give the company code. Company code. For data medium exchange. OK, and click on the enter mom. Uh, uh, right click on the company code mom and go to the create element. Same thing all of you. OK, that is the bank reference number. Bank reference na name that is bank reference. And the short description is bank reference. And the length is 24. 24 and the uh, uh, structure field. Mapping processor is structure field and source. And source and go to the structure FPA YH same thing FPA YH. And the field name is DOC 1 R DOC. D O C 1 R. OK, go to the comment tab. And just give the bank reference for data medium exchange. Bank reference for data medium exchange. Bank reference for data medium exchange. OK, so click on the enter. No need to create anything, ma'am. Can you go to the uh, check syntax issues? Check syntax issues. OK, if we have any errors. And uh, uh, node payment method segment has no sub node of type elements values and component. OK, see uh, payment details has no, no sub nodes values and all. So that is why it is not getting any errors. OK, that is just the information. This payment details has no elements. So you need to create the elements for this particular sub node. OK, so these things are mandatory all of you. And go to the. Go to the save button and save it ma'am first of all. And we need to see it. Continue. Mm. Give slash and mum. And once again, come back to the DMEE transaction code and we need to see it. OK, in SAP S4 HANA every time uh, when we come back to the screen, it will be deleted. OK, now it is not deleted, right? So everything is perfect. 